It's Tuesday the 19th of March. Good morning, Barry Fair with you in the studio with my offside out here and good morning to you and welcome. And today we've got the anniversary video of the Harbour Bridge. Now, the Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of Sydney's most iconic icons and is situated on Sydney Harbour. Now, to give you some idea of how the bridge came about, a company called Dom and Long in England brought over some parts to Australia to help construct the bridge. Now, the bridge, the bridge started construction, or should I say, construction started on the bridge in September 1926. And by the middle of 1927, the Northern Biodup would soon reach the Milton Point pylon. And now here's my offside as it, to continue the rest of what I've just spoken about there. Well, yeah, the Sydney Harbour Bridge um, is an iconic structure worldwide. Um, it's a symbol of our city, isn't it? When you see the Sydney Harbour Bridge, that's what you think. Sydney, hey. Well, it took six years to build and there was lots of workmen on the bridge. There was, however, death on the bridge as well. So, so and a river was deliberately left in the crown of the bridge during construction of the bridge. Now, the arch was completed on the 7th, the 19th of August, 1930, and that's when the arch was closed. Wow, you know so much about the bridge. <laughs> you know a story that I know about the bridge? There was a kid from Melbourne that was like 12 years old or something, and he rode his um, horse all the way to Sydney Harbour for the bridge opening. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. So, yeah, in, so did you say 1939 it opened? 32. 1932. So, yeah, the whole country was watching and waiting for this bridge to be opened. It's pretty amazing. So, so fabrication workshops were erected whilst the bridge was being built. And the fabrication workshops were where were where the the North Sydney Olympic Pool and Luna Park now stand. Now the fabrication workshops had pipes in it for the bridge and and so that's where Luna Park is now. Here's my offsider. Um, yeah, so, yeah, they originally they were going to do um, more like an, the Anzac Bridge kind of a style with two, um, two points in the bridge. And then they, yeah, and that, then they decided to go for the Arch Bridge because it allowed more curve in the road to come around to the headlands there. And, and Dr. Bradfield had planned to use a cantilever bridge, but he decided to use an arch bridge. So before the, uh, the opening of the bridge in 32, Nine ninety six old steam engines were used to test the bridge. Yeah. Well, really. Yeah. Whoa. So, 
So what I, so they were tram tracks before road lanes and before the Cal Expressway was built. The, the tram tracks became road lanes in lanes seven and eight on the bridge. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday, uh, March the 19th, 1932, the bridge was officially opened by Premier Jack Lang and as Premier Lang prepared to cut the ribbon to open the bridge, Francis de Groot came on his horse and slashed the ribbon with his sword. He was then hustled away by born police and he would find five pounds for this. Oh, wow. And once the ribbon was placed back to put back together, Premier Lang declared the bridge open. And there was another, and then, and then there was another ceremony at the northern end of the bridge. Oh, really? And then, uh, Thousands of people proudly walked across the May the the arch. Okay. Wow! So there was a, a mass walk across. To open the bridge, that sounds yeah. amazing. Yes. That sounds amazing. So the Sydney Harbour Bridge today is eighty-eight years old. Yeah. So there is still 300 years left in the bridge. So d does the bridge have an expected lifetime? I'm not sure about that. Okay. Well, well I walked across the bridge um, in a big group of people for the um, Reconciliation Day. I think it was 99. Um, but yeah, it was such an amazing thing. So I'm, I'm just imagining what that would have been like to be the first group of people to walk across it. Yeah. And the bridge is used for many occasions like um, it, it is used for the bridge walk um, fireworks on New Year's Eve, probably seen the fireworks lit up on the bridge on New Year's Eve. Yeah. And the bridge is a colourful spectacle. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And it makes a good view from your hotel room window. Wouldn't you like to wake up? at sunrise and look at the lights on the bridge. How special would that be mm. from your hotel room? Mm. Well, coming up today, today we're, my offside I has an announcement, but we will get to that at the end of the show. But here she is. Hi guys, <laughs> um, as usual we'd like you to subscribe to Barry's channel and um, we're going to keep on trying, like doing content that we find interesting and um, reading your comments and trying to um, cater to you as well. And as I said in, at the beginning of the show, will be my offside as last couple of weeks with me so you will have to bear with me until I find someone to help me continue the show 
it will be a sad time, but it is important that we respect people's decisions when they want to leave. And if you don't mind me saying on the show, sometimes it is very difficult and too far with one person to travel from the city to St. Ives. Yeah. And not only that, <laughs> to the cost of the petrol. Yeah. And, and, but don't despair, we've still got an, another month of friendship together. But I think we have a lifetime of friendship, don't we? Because we we've formed a connection. Where that doesn't just disappear just because I'm not going to be here on Tuesdays. We're friends forever now. And whenever, yeah, whenever you want to talk to me, just give me a ring. You can give me a ring if you like. Okay, we'll swap numbers. So, so we will do a special show on Tuesday the 9th of April. Yeah. And this will be the last one before Easter. Yeah. And that and what a great way to finish the Tuesdays together. We've had fun but don't go mm -hmm. don't go away. We've still got Plenty more to cover before my upside my upside it does leave. So maybe we can do an Easter special for our last show together. We can have some dairy free chocolate. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. All right. And maybe some hot cross bun. Oh. With some nutalex butter. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do it. So. Don't you go away, dear. We've, we've still got a month of videos to cover, cover so, so don't you go back, go away, because the friendship will not end. And, and who knows, my upsider, my uh, new upsider maybe, will be great too. I'm sure they will. So, coming up after the break, proudly brought to you by our friend at Dilma Tea. It's the Dilma Tea break. <laughs> so, Dilma, and happy birthday to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Happy birthday, Bridge. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Happy birthday to you.